I started a petition movement to have the mayor elected, not selected by the majority of the council members in a ceremonial role, but to be the authoritarian leader of the city to be elected by the people at large, all of the people. And um, as has been pointed out, and thank you for that fine introduction, the, uh, and I know John Mesa spoke about it as well, but what John might not have told you is not a single political leader supported the movement. Not one. The crusade for voters, boom, down. The NAACP, down. The elected leadership, down. Nobody anywhere supported it. So we asked the city council, would you at least put the measure on the ballot so that the people can decide whether they want it or not? Would you allow the people to vote on it? And uh, they didn't do that. At the time, I think Tim Kane was the mayor of the city, and I said, Tim, can you work something out to get at least put it on the ballot that people decided. <laughs> he said, I can only get four votes. <laughs> I can't get five votes, majority to do it. Now with that, so what we had to do was to go out and get the people to sign the petition. And if you get the percentage of numbers of people to sign the petition, then it can go on the ballot. So we were able to get about 15,000 signatures to make certain that it go on the ballot. Uh, and even though the entirety of the leadership was against it, when the people voted, 80% of the people said, we want to change. Now, that was in 2003 and here. If 80% of the people felt that way then, that, that sent a message to me. That said, the leadership is totally out of touch with the people. So it didn't have anything to do with me. It had to do with the message that was being resonating, that people didn't believe that the leadership was doing the job for them. 